Hello friends, uh, this is Munir with another walkthrough, video walkthrough uh, for, the, for the latest uh, Quotient WP extension release today which is called Sticky Footer. So let's uh, go through what this extension in, is and what it does and how to set up this. Um, this is a Sticky Footer extension which is a simple extension to attach the footer at the bottom of your screen. Basically it's just like uh, you have been seeing the sticky header extension in ocean wp or any other theme um, this extension will stick the footer uh, at the bottom of this screen like this so it has what features it has is uh, the key features are we can add the menu in the footer bar and we can add text in the footer bar and choose our own color so let's get it started with this extension and see what it does and how to set up it so i'll create a test site by clicking here and uh, it will um it will create a demo site quickly bundled with all the ocean wp and the, all the extensions uh, available there I got the confirmation link. And the test size has been created. So unlike other extensions, Ocean WP extensions um, are all activated by default, but this extension is not activated by default for certain reasons. So you need to go to plugins. And by the way, in the test side, you can play the Ocean WP theme now along with, uh, with different page builder plugins like Beaver Builder, you can activate it or you can activate the DV Builder plugin, which is a premium plugin. And you can activate, of course, Elementor or Elementor Pro. You can play around with this, uh, this page builder plugins for with Ocean WP. So, so here is the Ocean Sticky Footer, which is not activated. I'll have to activate this. And all right, let's see the our website now. Okay, so now I can see something. Uh, I sticky footer bar here at the bottom, and I don't have currently any widgets, so there's nothing. So let's see um, how to customize it, how to uh, edit the options, etc. So there is no option for uh, this. Uh, uh, we need to head over to the customizer section. By the way, uh, there is a doc uh, link available, which in the setup guide button. With the setup guide button, you need to head over to this, and there are two uh, different articles basically. So this, this is to uh, customize the. Uh, I guess to customize this footer bar uh, via the PHP file, but this is what you need to look into first. The add a menu in the footer bar. So it says add a menu in the footer bar. You can easily add a menu in the footer bar just after opening button. Okay, uh, all right, we'll see it in a while. Let's see if what options we have in the customizer for this. So we need to head over to the appearance, then customizer. And we must see a new section there for the sticky footer features. <clears throat> I'm sorry, my DSL is currently very slow. So here is it. There is a new feature called section called a sticky footer. So we have different options here. Um, Again, a very useful options are provided. Uh, so I can hide navigate. I can hide text on mobile. I can hide navigation on mobile. So and I can add update this text here, which you can see. Um, this is a sample text here. As you can see, it's been updated. I can change the background color to any color I want. Right and uh, top bar, footer bar and opening button background color this is the opening button background color <clears throat> what it does let's see this is the color it, it, this is the color so basically i need to make it the same over background color which is currently set to grayish and 333 so it uh, needs to be like what um, any color you want right now the color this color should be could be 
the text color for the button because this section whole section is for opening button styling right and the whole color button so this menu items is styling uh, we currently don't have the menu item so let's wait for the for the menu item uh, first thing you you must be missing the widget footer widget. let's try to add some footer widget first if they are coming here so i need to go to sorry i need to go to my widget section you can go to widgets by from the widget section in the back end or I, we can also use a customizer to add widgets now so i will go to my widget section and i will add some sidebar widget footer widgets so i'll just uh, i'll just put some um, text simple text widget for demo so i'll just take take this one and demo, demo widget and this this is demo text all right i'll just repeat this okay so um bingo so the widget is coming nicely and we can of course customize the widget styling from the customizer uh, options we have already for the db uh, so i'll just uh, take some more widgets i'll add my widgets to which could be my um search 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 side all right there it is and i could add third widget which could be which could be social icons this is just a demo as you know so you can add any widgets you want as as you must have already some widgets in your future or you may change them so the widgets are coming nicely the widget area is itself uh, uh, stick with this bottom bar basically so this will this is what you will see and it, it is a toggle uh, button so you need to basically click on this to open it right so this is what uh, this extension does now we have some other option also beside the footer widgets we can add a menu menu to the to the bottom bar basically so what i'm going to do is i'm going to first uh, i need to create a menu because i don't have a menu so i'll just create a uh, i'll just create a new menu add a menu footer the bar menu and i'll just put some links i'll i have to assign it to the sticky footer all right and i'll add some items to it uh, there are already two items so i'll just add add some custom links right I'll add home, I'll add sample page, and I'll add, I'll add some custom links also there. Custom item. All right, so I have three menu items and I have assigned it to the footer menu already. Uh, so you need to uh, create the menu and assign it to the sticky footer. Uh, sec uh, um, display location set it to the sticky footer display location and you will see a nice menu here all right so this is what this uh, lovely extension does and you can you you need to um this is really useful i mean uh it had it has some more options let's check again okay so i can set the footer i can adjust the footer opacity i can if i go to mobile view I can see that this is not uh, I can hide text on mobile so basically it was hidden hide navigation menu on mobile so it will not appear right as you can see so the sticky it's not big uh, getting sticky I guess on mobile I'm not sure if I'm correct but in the customizer view it at least it's not getting sticky in the mobile but for the desktop 
only all right so i hope this is this video would help you get started with this uh, premium extension uh, just released by ocean wp thanks for watching bye bye